Hi guys, my new titles as you can see. Here's my um, keyboard, just unroll that. And yeah, it's puppy again. Okay, this time, um, this is my, my third uh, attempt at a tutorial. I've been told I don't have the pizzazz of Steve Jobs, so I'm going to have to try a little bit harder. Okay, the, the first thing we're going to look at um, is just everything. We're going to look at everything. And I think specifically my my setup. Um, you'll notice here, this is uh, Puppy 4.3, I've got SDA5, SDA7, the SRO, which is the, the CD, and just here, if I plug this in, um, what can we plug in here? Got a USB. Yes, I've got one here. Okie doke. Uh, we'll plug. We're going to plug this in, which is uh, an S, an S, um, a uh, USB flash flash drive. So we're going to plug that in. Okay, there it is plugged in. Okay, and you'll see. On the in the the left left hand corner here, it suddenly appears. All right, this is done automatically. So now, if I click on that, all right, we can see this will open. I'll do it again from further away so you can see it. Okay, there it is. These are the files that are on on that particular flash drive that I've just plugged in. The, this is the CD-ROM, this is my CD-ROM, which I run Puppy from, it's, a, a, it's actually a DVD, but I still call them CD-ROMs. This and this is one hard drive that is split into two parts, into two partitions, one called SDA5, one SDA7. Okay, so those are the two partitions I, I use. I run from DVD, I could run from USB, I could actually run from one of the hard drives, but I don't. So this is very much to do with, with my setup. And what I tend to do is on, at the moment anyway, on, let's, let's, let's scroll out from this, from SDA7 I actually have all my sort of day-to-day -day files that I'm working on. It's almost like a, a sort of um, um, temporary, temporary files that I'm, I'm working on. But they're saved on the hard drive. And this one is my more long-term files. Okay, so there's Linux. Um, this is my um, server provider. This is something about Time Machine, program files, and so on. Okay, people have different ways of setting their system up. But one of the th one of the reasons I do it this way is I find it convenient. For example. When I first start the, the browser, at the moment I've got all my bookmarks in here. But by going to bookmarks and then manage bookmarks in the browser, okay, I can always right at the, the very beginning when I start up a, a new a new puppy, a pristine puppy with nothing in it, I can go to import. Okay, and this is where the this is where I look for my SDA5. That is the partition where I save my bookmarks. Okay, so I can go into File System here, Root on the left, Root, and File System, and you will see Mount MNT. MNT. That means I'm mounting the partitions, and there's one called SDA7, and there's another one called Home. Home is actually the one that is saving all my puppy files on. Okay, so all my save files are on the SDA5. And if you if you look in there, you'll see under Linux I've got bookmarks and if I load that bookmarks h bookmarks 8.html, I can load that into the the browser and I'm all set up to go. So this is why I keep that on, on the hard drive. Very, very important to me. Okay, I'm not going to do that because I've already got that all, all set up. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to close down the, the browser 
and just mention that again. This is the, the SDA5, which is one of the, the um, partitions here, this one. That is also, if you look at the top here, is called Mount Home. That's the SDA5. That's where I am saving my squash files, the SFS files. So when you first start Puppy Up from DVD, all right, it will save it onto this Mount Home. Okay, that's quite important and quite useful. And people do get confused about that. And it's the same when you when you're first opening the opening rocks. This is rocks. This is the the file manager that we use. And you will you will, so you I went to file. I clicked on file. This opened here, and you will see here if I go up the little green button here in the top left. Okay, we've got the mount here, the one that we looked at before, and you will see the SDA7, which is one of my partitions, and you will also see home, which is the SDA5 here. So maybe that should be changed to home, SDA5, I don't know. Alright, but if I click on that, you will see the, the files that I have there. Now it's important to, to understand where your files are if you're used to C drive and D drive and what have you. Um, it's important to, to understand that procedure and it will come it will come with time, so it's worth worth persevering with. Okay, now um, that's that's quite important, understanding how how all that how all that works and how to get to your file. So let's let's look at that some some more. If we click on the, the file button here and we look at the, the, the various options that are here. Some that I, I find are, are quite um, useful is in my documents, you will file clip art. Clip art, all right? And I tend to, uh, what's this? Stanislav Od, Odi, uh, let's have a look at that. If I just click on it, all right, there's some um, penguins enjoying some some forbidden fruit. Well, it's forbidden for, for for penguins to have um, melons in the middle of the Antarctica. Okay, so that's, and what's this new logo? Oh, that's the new Doctor Who logo. Okay, um, so there's two there's two files here, two, two picture files. Something you might want to um, do is right click, you see that I? Right click on that I, and what happens is they turn into images that you can see. You want them bigger? Press the plus, and they become bigger. All right, so that's quite that's quite useful. But what I was trying to show you is the clip art, which is in my documents, which I would would um, use here. And I might want to, for example, if I open um, my temporary file here, the SDA7, I might just want to right click on my clip art here, clip clip art, right click on it. Let's do that again. Uh, no, sorry, not right click, um, middle click, and then if I drag it, all right, so this is the middle button. With, with Linux, we use three buttons, or we use the, the mouse wheel. If I then drag it into rocks, into, the, um, into my SDA7, and let go, what happens? I get the option to copy or to move, all right? So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to copy it. Okay, so what we've done is we've taken that clip art file and we've copied it onto the hard drive, the SDA7. Okay, so this is my, I think this is my third um, tutorial. It's just me rambling on about, what have I rambled on about? I've rambled on, I've just rambled really. Okay, bye now.